Proclus begins his analysis of the divine mind and elements of theology, describing it as the first level of differentiation that emerges from the One. The One is absolute unity, beyond any distinction, beyond thought, and beyond any form of description. However, from the One, the divine mind emerges, which retains unity but introduces multiplicity and distinction. Proclus says, All beings derive their existence from the One, but their thought originates in the divine mind. This means that while everything originates from the One, it is in the divine mind that conscious thought and the distinction of beings begin. The divine mind, as described by Proclus, contains the eternal ideas. These ideas are not individual concepts, but archetypes that determine the existence of all things. The ideas are immutable and eternal, not subject to deuce or change. They serve as templates for the material world, and the reality we see around us is nothing more than a reflection of these ideas. For example, Proclus writes, The divine mind contains the ideas, which are the eternal and unchangeable forms of every reality. This means that the ideas in the divine mind are fixed points that maintain order in the world, while phenomena in the material world come and go. In Proclus cosmology, each idea has its eternal form in the divine mind. Let's examine the idea of the circle. The idea of the circle exists in the divine mind as something perfect and unchanging, while every real circle we see or draw in our world is an imperfect representation of this idea. Proclus shows that this distinction is fundamental. Material reality is imperfect, while the ideas in the divine mind remain eternal and perfect. The divine mind is the source of order in the world. Proclus analyzes that without the divine mind, the world would be chaotic as the divine mind is what organizes and gives form to multiplicity. The logic and distinction we see in the world come from the ideas of the divine mind. This logic is what allows for the knowledge and understanding of things. In On the Theology of Plato, Proclus explains that the divine mind introduces structure and order into existence, and everything in the world exists because it follows a pattern from the divine mind. The logical structure we see in geometry, for example, is not something created by humans, but comes from the divine mind. Geometric relationships, like the properties of the circle or triangle, are eternal truths that exist in the divine mind and guide order in the world. Although the divine mind does not directly create the material world, it provides the templates for this creation. Proclus emphasizes that the soul, which follows the divine mind in the hierarchy of existence, takes the ideas of the divine mind and applies them to the material world. While the divine mind provides logic and distinction, the soul is responsible for the life and movement of things in the physical world. Proclus says, the soul draws from the divine mind the ideas and transfers them to the material world, giving life to matter. Here we see that the divine mind provides the eternal patterns, while the soul brings these patterns into motion and life. Ultimately, Proclus explains that all beings strive to return to the original unity of the One. The divine mind acts as a bridge between the One and multiplicity. And through philosophy, humans can understand the divine mind and approach the One. Proclus says, Philosophy leads the soul back to the One through the understanding of the ideas and the knowledge of the divine mind. Once we understand the role of the divine mind and the ideas, we see how the divine mind organizes and guides existence based on eternal and unchanging patterns. In the next video, we will explore how the soul functions as the connecting link between the divine mind and the material world, giving life and movement to phenomena. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on our next videos. Stay tuned for more explorations into the fascinating world of ancient philosophy and mythology. Thank you for watching.